Did it for Did a I? national title. Yeah, one one flat eighty nine, one flat four, I think. That's good though. It's even. Yeah, that was incredible. You know, that's good. Okay. Um, yeah, it was good just going in. I wanted to execute my race plan, so I wanted to make sure that I hit at least sixty, or if not, I really wanted to hit the low fifty nine mark. But whatever happens, happens, and I know that I'll be in control. Um, I'm experienced because I've done this so many times, and I've had so many mistakes in the past. So I've really learned to grow from them and. Um, just take my opportunity when I know it's needed. I felt Nia coming up on me, and so I, it was good because I felt like she was going to push me and push me to go. And I just try to make it as less stressful as possible, not to panic. So she kind of came up towards me, and um, I just wanted to make sure that I kept going with her to the finish line. She used my energy, I used her energy, and we just go as fast as we can. So it turned out well. Oh, it feels amazing. I'm, I am honestly, I don't even know how words to explain. I'm honestly just so grateful and so thankful. When I finished, I was almost like in awe because I've just waited for this moment for so long. Um, I've just dreamt about this and now it's finally here. Does it feel like you have a monkey off your back? Yeah, it does. It does, honestly. I just, I wanted it so badly and I knew I could do it so long ago, but you know, God has things happen for a reason, and so I took my chance this time, and it worked, and I'm grateful. Very. Walk us through the last hundred. I mean, did you? Yeah. Is, is that a good kick for you? Did you feel good? Yeah. The whole way? No, I, I felt good. I mean, it hurt, of course, but I felt good, and like I said, I felt her on me. Um, I honestly saw the jumbo tron. I saw that she was right next to me. So I was like, just push it. This is your literal last 800 meters for Texas a and Just push it as hard as you can. Go out with the bag. Yeah. Top 30 in the last 200, like 29 something? I think so, probably, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it felt good. I, we've been working on stuff like that in practice, so it felt good. It wasn't anything new. Um, again, you can't even focus on the pain. Even if it does hurt, you just gotta focus on the line to finish. And when you finally have won, how feel? Amazing. I, I'm again. I'm just in. I'm shocked. Still, I honestly don't. Know. People, people have asked me that. I don't know what to say. Honestly, I'm just shocked that it even happened. And beyond anything, I just feel blessed and grateful and happy. Did you change anything with your training this year, or change any approach at all to racing that led to this? Yeah, a little. I. I've changed how I go out in my first 400. Um, I know you guys are used to me going out in like 58 and just holding on, but I want to try a different approach this year. You know, you try some things and yeah, you make mistakes, but then some things you realize just don't work, you know? So I had to change it up a bit and this was the perfect race strategy. So how do you block out the pain? What'd you say? How do you block out the pain? You gotta think of finishing. You, I honestly, to block out the pain, I think of winning. I'm like, the pain is temporary, but the winning is forever. So which one am I going to choose? Yeah. So is the first lap that you got a little bit slower than last than in the past? Yes, yes, because I normally try to go out in 58 low, uh, 58.5, and this time I went out in 60, and it worked a lot better. Did that feel like a walk going out in 60? Uh, it's not a walk, but it felt a lot better, let's just say, like a lot better. Yeah. Jasmine, not just because of the championship, but I mean, it just seems like you have just so thoroughly enjoyed this outdoor season and these, uh, these yeah. last six, six weeks. I mean, I just, I just haven't seen like any, any any pressure. It's just been like calm and just in, yeah. enjoyment. How much did that play a factor in, in in today? Just the fact that you just looked like you executed it so smoothly. Um, you know, what plays a factor is again experience. I've experienced it so many times, and I've gone through this already. And there becomes a point where you start to mature, and you just realize that like this race is not the end of the world. You have to come to terms with the fact that one race doesn't define you, and it doesn't define who you are, and it doesn't define who I. I am. Just because I won a race doesn't make me any better of a person and just because I lose a race doesn't make me any less of a person. And when you think about it like that, at least for me, it becomes a lot less shuffle, it becomes a lot less, a lot more calm and just you have fun with it, you know, because we're doing this for fun. We're competing for fun. It's supposed to be competitive. Nia's supposed to be with me and I'm supposed to go with her. We're supposed to battle it out to see who gets the best time and get the best out of our potential. Do you have any sense what your post agent plans are? Uh, right now, I really would like the opportunity to go pro if I could have it. Um, alongside with that, I really want to get my master's degree um, in international business and communications. So that would be great. And those are my plans going forward. And I'd also like to go into sports broadcasting too. That would be a really fun opportunity for me, sports marketing as well. So I have a lot of different plans and a lot of different options. Would you be staying at College Station? Yeah, probably, yes, yes. I love my coaches, I love my trainers. I love everybody that I work with. I've had such a great experience. They've helped me through so much, so I do want to stay there. Yeah, do you think that you're senior? Yeah. And you want somebody like you, Terry Richardson? Amazing, she's on fire, oh my God. So what would you tell her as a friend? 
tell her to enjoy herself. Yeah. Enjoy the fun. Enjoy running purely out of joy. You know, just purely because you love it, purely because you want to do this, purely because you want the people around you to push you. And yeah, the pressure is going to be on, but life is pressure, you know, so you kind of have to embrace the pressure and learn to execute your race plan. And that's what makes it less stressful. Because when you went out for the race, 